is basically one of those moments that you kind of wait for your entire life. And I thought about this moment for a while and I thought I'd be more prepared, but I don't think I am. He's done good, and he deserves this, big time. This isn't about me, this is all about him. It's a little bit about me, it's mostly about him. <laughs> Based out of Amityville, New York, s and Classics is a muscle car shop, owned and operated by Steve McCrory and Pete Colasanto. If I had to bring my car somewhere to have anything done, I'd be petrified. You know, is there going to be a cat sitting on the hood? Are they going to be taking the car out? I said, you know, maybe this is an opportunity presenting itself. Because we had talked in the past, had other people mention to us, you know, between you two guys, if you got together and did something, you can make something really happen out there. So this was like on a Sunday, and then Monday we rented this building, no name, no business. But it's evolved into a really cool little shop. I'm always interested in learning more about cars. And the best way I learn is by getting in there and touching everything. So I asked Steve and Pete if I could apprentice and help them out with some of the projects at their shop. They said to me, how about we work together on yours? The first day breaking it down when it was just total deconstruction. Throwing wrenches at it, parts flying all over the place. It was cold. I was super excited about getting in there and making him into a true muscle car. Oh my god, it's hooks! But at the same time, I was really terrified because I live by the motto, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And Ned wasn't broke. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this thing back together. You know what? Don't talk like that! I'm trying to leave a little. Oh no. Pull! Grab oh. those handles! Out! Holy crap! There's no turning back now. The will and wanting to do it, it was a no-brainer. It was like, throw you the power washer, throw you the wrenches, take this out, take that out, sand this down, let's paint this. It was a blast. I trusted Steve and Pete, and they in turn trusted me with power tools. Alright, alright. Okay, okay. Don't panic. No one panic. See me in one outfit the whole time. I'm That's gonna... cool. It's like a, a hockey jersey or a jock strap. <laughs> you can't wash it if it, you know, if you keep winning and you're having good luck. This uh, this D-Day outfit is starting to smell real bad. I'm just gonna tell. Oh yeah, big time. I can just, like just even. <sighs> Anytime there's a job where I get to wear a uniform, I'm all about it. Tonight, I'm deadliest catch. We got a real big fish out there. first dropping the 350 into Ned, it was a little bit tight. I was nervous, I didn't speak at all because I was afraid of jinxing things. <laughs> I'm already breathing <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Alright, hold it, go back. But in the end, it slipped right in for a beautiful fit and it's like it was meant to be. Uh -huh. yep. Look at that. Like a glove. It's easy, it's almost like they know what they're doing, it's scary. <laughs> Like almost lightheaded. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Just, I'm really almost passing out. <laughs> I'm very lightheaded. <laughs> this is just a lot to take in. I learned a bunch of really interesting things throughout this whole process, but none quite as interesting as welding. Welding is kind of like a firework blowing up right next to your face. It's both beautiful and terrifying all at the same time. 
we had a little one-on-one -on -one welding uh, lesson. I mean, within minutes, she picked right up on it. Steve was a great teacher, gave me a lot of really good pointers, and I had an awesome time, mostly because I got to wear the cool helmet. See, the interior we did, see the way it looks yeah. like that finished? It looks nice, nice, don't yeah. it? The back seat was in really good condition, so we just sprayed it with fabric dye and put it back in. The interior panels were starting to fade from sun wear, so we cleaned them all off and repainted them. That's gonna wind up on the floor. Oh my god. We removed the bench seat and put in buckets. That way my passenger doesn't suffer because I am short. Ah. Yeah. yeah. This is this is I'm smitten. I don't hear no sound effects. Mother. <laughs> I definitely had my own technique when going into this, and I would call my technique clumsy. I'll get it. And excited. Good? Yes. And mostly clumsy. Oh no! See, Steve does the things that require finesse. You give you. me a hammer. <laughs> Want a hammer? B's and A's. Eight inches. Oh. All right, forget it. Forget it. I have a I'm gonna get it out. You're gonna see. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. When things are going good, you don't say they're good. You just say nothing. It's falling. Boy, I like that. Oh. Sticker, the sticker distracted you. Are you strong? That's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> is that goopy? Oh, I got goopy on my hand. Not a snap. together. Hearing Ned come to life for the first time, it was the most beautiful sound I ever heard in my entire life. There's no amount of words I think I can use to describe what this car means to me. It's not even seven, I'm crying. <laughs> Once I had heard him, I knew that this was all real. When 
I look out over Ned's hood, I think I can do anything. I'm the person I want to be and the person I believe I can be. And it's because I'm with him. Ned's mouth is finally as big as mine. <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> I had this big idea of driving across the country with Ned and finding more of my kind out there. But it was just one of those dreams that you have that you figure you'll do when you're older and you have more money and you have more time. And then everything changed. A very good friend of mine and an inspiration passed away on August 28th, 2010 from brain cancer. Her name was Teresa Durso. Oh. Oh, we all knew her as T. When you're young, you think you have all the time in the world. And then something happens and you're smacked in the face and you're made to realize now is the time to act and you have no time to waste. She was the same age as me. And she was my friend. I wouldn't have dropped everything and committed to a dream if it wasn't for her. She inspired me to do so through the actions of her life. So, Beauty's Got Muscle began, and I haven't looked back since. And I have T to thank for that. Just give me a moment <laughs> to gather it, to collect myself as a human being for this existential moment in my life. So Ned has been in the body shop. Last we saw him, he was uh, going to get some some nasty rust cut out. Rims and tires are on him now, and I haven't seen him since. And there's a new bumper, so he no longer has a fat lip. And there's no amount of words that I can use to describe what this car means to me. And for this to all happen, and for me to be a part of it, I'm just extremely grateful. Okay. Okay.
You've done so much for me. I feel like no matter what I do, I can't give back enough because this is so much bigger than any of my dreams. I knew it was gonna happen for Ned, but I didn't see it happening until until the connection. Here's the you, me, right, those guys. That's the connection. <laughs> That's the connection! Do you see him with us right now? Right? It took uh, Teresa to get you with me and Greg and them. Oh, that's the connection! When I think about it, I no longer believe in coincidence. I can't. Beauty's got muscle. Wouldn't have happened until later. I would have never become good friends with Carolyn. I would have never met Stephen P. I would have never met any of the people in the car world who have become a part of my family now through Beauty's Got Muscle if it wasn't for T. I wouldn't have started any of this. I wouldn't have believed in any of this if it wasn't for her. She saved my life. So. <laughs> <laughs> Katie is a vibrant, energetic, beautiful young girl who just grabs at your heartstrings for the fact that she is so deep into the muscle cars and being a female. It's just an awesome thing. I think that the only downside to the whole project was that it was over. You got something that you can have a lot of fun with for a lot of years. Ned and I are going to travel left, right, up, down, all over this country, searching for women in the car world. And we're not going to stop. I owe it to T. I owe it to Ned. I owe it to all of you. This is Beauty's Got Muscle.